European Cyclists Federation is an umbrella federation for national cycling organizations throughout Europe. ECF was founded in 1983 by 12 bicycle user associations. It has now 74 member organizations representing over half a million individual European citizens in 39 countries. ECF actively promotes and encourages cycling worldwide while trying to enforce cycling policy at the European level. One of its goals is to promote cycle tourism as a sustainable economic factor and environment-friendly mobility. It also focuses on the security of cyclists and safety for vulnerable road users. It also runs the Velocity Conference Series, the Eurovelo Cycle Route Project and lobbies European and international institutions. Mission The European Cyclists' Federation is pledged to ensure that bicycle use achieves its fullest potential so as to bring about sustainable mobility and public well-being. To achieve these aims, the ECF seeks to change attitudes, policies and budget allocations at the European level. The ECF will stimulate and organize the exchange of information and expertise on bicycle-related transport policies and strategies as well as the work of the cyclists' movement. The European Cyclists' Federation has set a number of goals for 2020 in a project entitled 2020 Objectives. Their goals are Cycling has at least doubled to 15% modal share on an average in Europe. International and national institutions in Europe recognize the value of cycling and incorporate it in all relevant policies. Investment in cycling at European and national level is at least 10% of transport budgets. Investment in recreational cycling and tourism is comparable to transport investments. The rate of cyclists killed or seriously injured per kilometer in Europe decreased by 50. Organization ECF is a legal entity registered under Belgian law as an ASBL. Its statutes are published in the Moniteur Belge of April 24, 1997. General Meetings The annual general meeting is the highest body of the ECF. The AGM traditionally takes place in May and is organized by one member organization. The AGM approves the yearly work plan and budget and new board members. The previous AGMs have taken place in various locations in Europe. The 2009 AGM was in Brussels, 2010 in Gdansk, 2011 in Seville, 2012 in Vienna, 2013 in Brussels and 2014 in Dublin. The 2015 AGM will be held in Nantes. Board board members are elected for two years and half of the board has to be voted on every year. The latest board members were elected in 2012 in Vienna. As of June 2013 the ECF president is Manfred Neun. Projects and Networks Velocity Velocity is widely respected as the premier international cycling planning conference series in the world. Velocity began in 1980 and has played a part in the promotion of cycling ever since. The Velocity conferences bring together all those who are involved in the policy, promotion and provision of cycling. This mixture of people, professions, skills and experience is a valuable component of the event's success. Since 2010, Velocity has taken place every year internationally. The first Velocity Global took place in Copenhagen, Denmark, in 2010. Since then conferences have taken place in numerous locations, such as in Seville in 2011, in Vancouver, Canada, in 2012 and Vienna in 2013. The next conferences will be held in Adelaide in 2014 and in Nantes in 2015. Eurovelo, a cycle route network for Europe. The Eurovelo network has 14 routes with well over 40,000 kilometers of bike paths in use. Thousands more are planned and when completed, it will total over 70,000 kilometers. The network includes existing and planned regional and national cycle routes, crossing and uniting the whole European continent. 
Cities for Cyclists The objective of the Cities for Cyclists network is to promote the bicycle as a means of transport. This will be achieved by spotlighting the policies and practices of a number of cycle-friendly cities across Europe and thereby encourage others to follow suit. The purpose of Cities for Cyclists is to establish a global ECF network of cities working to promote bicycle use in urban areas and encourage the exchange of knowledge. The Cities for Cyclists network tries to promote a change in urban planning and political thinking and cycle-friendly perspectives in planning and policy practices. Scientists for Cycling The Scientists for Cycling Network, launched at the Velocity Global 2010 conference in Copenhagen, arises from the recognition that there are many experts in both natural and social sciences worldwide who are able and ready to contribute to ECF's mission to improve and to increase cycling. Cycling Industry Club The CIC was created at Eurobike in 2011 and has since become the biggest player on Europe's advocacy scene. Funding and support from the bicycle industry's leading companies, it has created big changes across Europe unlocking million in funding and getting more people cycling. Advocacy in order to influence the position of European authorities, ECF is working on several issues. Health and environment ECF underlines the fact that cycling generates also positive externalities in the field of health. Therefore it supports a number of projects that ECF member organizations have set up like the Bike to Work and Bike to School plans. ECF rejects the assumption that the necessary CO2 reductions in the transport sector will be achieved by greening the private car. Thus ECF has published a declaration that states, We call on all politicians and officials now to recognize the important contribution that cycling can and must make in tackling climate change. Please work with us to realize that potential and to guarantee a better quality of life now and in the future. Road safety ECF is against mandatory bicycle helmet wearing and even refrains from promoting helmets. Helmets create the image that daily cycling in an urban environment is a dangerous activity whereas it is clearly not. The most efficient way to increase safety is to promote cycling. Statistics show that the more cyclists are on the road, the safer it is to cycle in the city. The ECF also advocates more 30 km per hour zones in residential zones to decrease the likelihood and frequency of accidents in urban areas. Members Membership of the ECF is open to organizations having an interest in the bicycle as an everyday form of transport or a means of recreation. Membership is subject to agreement by the majority of the existing members. Full membership is open to European groups of cycle users who primarily aim at promoting the bicycle as an everyday means of transport or recreation, and who have paid the agreed subscription. This entitles them to vote at ECF AGMs. Associate membership is open to European groups who do not meet the criteria for full membership but who support the aims of the ECF. Cycling organizations from outside Europe or other bodies with an interest in cycling. They pay the agreed subscription, receive material and may attend the AGM or working groups meetings but do not have voting rights at meetings. Full members associate members bicycle SAR. Tourism of Landerin, Tourism Flanders, Provelo ASBL, T&D, the European Federation for Transport and Environment, Véhicutelo Quebec, Cyprus Tourism Organization, Nadez Partners V, Network of Finnish Cycling Municipalities, Departements and Regent Cyclables, Land Transport Agency, Dutch National Cycling Platform, Departements and Region Cyclables, Stichting Land Allergic Fires Platform, Cycling Hungary Alliance, EPCE, Polish Environmental Partnership Foundation, Velopoland Foundation, Ecopolis Foundation, AEVV, EGWA, European Greenways Association, VCS, 8, Thailand, Cycling Club, 
Energy Efficiency and Environment Protection Association Envisavco, Sustrans, Alliance for Biking and Walking, 1 Street.